Holy shit. What the fuck is happening? What the hell? outside of Vienna is Spielberg, a spectacular circuit with dense forests and rolling hills as a backdrop. What a destination for today's race. Time to get ready for the Austrian Grand Prix. At the front of the grid, we have a red Ferrari driven by the ever ice cool Kimi Raikkonen. He'll need to keep things cool though in the cockpit going into turn one if he's going to have any chance of taking victory today. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen, so we'll have to keep a close eye on how this unfolds over the course of the race. Hoping to build on their impressive performance last time out will be Ferrari. The last Grand Prix saw their best result of the season. It's a performance that they'll want to match, or even better, this time out. Both drivers look really happy with how the car performed all weekend. This is a different track with different demands though, and I think they won't find it easy to repeat that result here today. What is up guys, welcome back to the F1 2015 Championship. We are here in Austria today uh, with the uh, Austrian Grand Prix on the Red Bull ring. And um, I qualified in P7 just in front of my teammate. Vettel is in front of us and uh, nothing special happened really. So um, let's take a look at the race strategy. It's a three stop again. All right. Um, option, option, option. And the last stint on primes. I think this will be a, a really difficult race for us because I was um, I was actually fastest in the last sector, but I was one second off of the leaders in uh, sector two, which um, are pretty much some, uh, some straights and stuff. So uh, I will be overtaking a lot. And since our teammate is behind us, he will probably score some points. And... Um, we want to minimize the damage really so uh yeah that's a quick explanation uh let's go guys all right four five red lights and away we go science passes us right around the outside let's see what we can do now science get tapped by fettel all right that was our teammate that's uh, lucky for us, and maybe the leaders will be really, really slow now, so let's see what we can do here. We closed up a lot on Vettel there, but um, yeah, this is a really uh, this is a really slow sector for me, like I said, um, one second off. And... S my engineer just told me that Carlos lost a little bit of his front wing, so he uh, it will be difficult for him to score any points today. Luckily for us, but bad for the team, obviously. And so we are in P7 at the moment, which is a an okay uh, okay position, I guess. I saw a little, uh, little bit of his front wing uh, lying on the uh, on the racing track there, and he is in the pits right now. My teammate is. So, all right. The leaders are uh, very very fast actually, but uh, Grosjean isn't as fast uh, as I uh, I thought behind me. So uh, that's uh, that's good. Let's see. We have to go to the pits on uh, on lap eight already. So that's uh, six more laps. Someone is in the pits already. That's Fatal. That's uh, really really early. And Bottas tries to overtake me, which he successfully does. There we go. Back around the outside. All right. 
How is that two places at once, alright? But Butters will uh, try to attack me again, probably. Alright, Bottas is right behind me now, so he will be really fast. There he goes, from the outside. And that was Bottas, alright. That's B7. And probably P8. There comes Grosjean. What the hell, man? Grab his slipstream as well. Alright. And he's right behind this again. You know what? I have to go to the pits on lap 8, but... Uh, oh, it says lap 6 now. Alright. That's... Uh, Let's uh, go to the pits at the end of this lap then. Maybe this will even be a four stop if it uh, continues like this. Alright, that was uh, really dangerous of Perez as we go into the pits now. Whoa, the AI takes it over. What the hell is he doing? That will uh, lose me a lot of a lot of points. And spots on the racing track, I guess. Alright, um, nobody follows us into the pits, so... Um, that, uh, that should be good. On to options we go, and... Alright. Out of the out of the pits we come in P19. That's right in front of our teammate. Well, not right in front, but uh, he is behind us on, in the standings. In, anyhow, all right, we got a really good exit of that corner, so we can overtake Maldonado now. There we go, all right. We've moved into 18th position. 18th. There's one car coming out of the pits already, so... Let's see who that is. I guess it's Perez or something, so uh, he's in front of me. Because the entry to the pits was so uh, so awkward. It was... It's Hulkenberg, alright. He was even further down the field, so... All of those guys will probably overtake me now, so... Uh, let's see where we end up. There are more cars, uh, cars in the pits. And there's Perez. Alright. He comes out behind Hulkenberg then. But in front of us, and we are in P15 now. As they go really slow in front of me. We should be able to get uh, Will Stevens now. Yeah, here we go. And there is more cars in the pits this lap. That's that's P10. All right, back in the points. Ooh, yellow flags. I can see a car going slowly. I think. Yeah, there are two cars going really, really slowly. It's a Ferrari and. Williams, I think. 
definitely, definitely, it's it's Raikkonen and Massa. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What are they doing? All right. Well, we're in P8, and that's P7 for now. And our tires are already really damaged. Wow. Whoops. Kvyat is behind us. He's uh, pretty fast uh, last lap and he will have DRS now. Let's move up to the inside. And there's someone in pits. Alright, I have to go to the pits on the end of lap 13, so... Alright, it's... It's the end of lap 13, so... Uh, into the pits we go. All right, this is a this is a way better pit entry than uh, last time. So, all right, um, we are alone in the pit, so we can't get held up. That's uh, really good. But we are in P12 already. There comes P13, 14. Massa is in P15. Oh yeah, he uh, crashed with Raikkonen, of course. There goes Massa. That's P15. And all right, it's uh, B15 for us. Just in front of uh, Maldonado this time, so uh, we won that over him. To fuel now, so that's 60 remaining. There's car in the pits. It's going to be close. It's Perez. We are right beside each other, and we're in front. Yeah, we are. Well, that was really, really close. And he was in front of us uh, before we went to the pits, wasn't he? So we got the uh, undercut on him. And there are more people in the pits right now. That's B11. There comes Perez out of nowhere. And we touch a little bit, but he's still there. We have the inside for the next corner, so we should be fine. We have 25 kilograms of fuel left in the tank. All right, there we go. There is someone in the pits again, and Perez should be really fast, so move to the inside. Oh, I nearly lost the back end there. But we are back in P10, alright. Shit, I got a really, really, really bad exit, so... Perez will be all over us now. Move to the inside. He will have the arrest now, so he will pass us easily. There he goes. Alright, and that was Perez, guys. And we move up to P9 because Kvyat just came out of the pits and is right behind us. And I had a really bad exit, so there's Kvyat. My tires are really done. Those tires fall off the cliff so quick on the on this track. It's unbelievable.
there's someone in the pits again. And we have to go to the pits this lap. Alright, that could be nine. Whoops. Yeah, those tires are done. Alright guys, it's uh, the end of lap 20, so we have to go to the pits now. Alright, that was a really good uh, entry again. So, let's see. Someone else is in the pits as well. I guess that's Hulkenberg. And he's gone already, alright. There we go, into our pit box. And it's P15 already. And it's another uh, another option stint. So yeah. This uh, was our third stop. So uh, we have to stop again. So that's a four stop. And we're behind Maldonado again this time. And there's people in the pits, and I got DRS off of Maldonado, so uh, we can get a little closer to him, is what I wanted to say. Alright, grab his, grab his slipstream now, or we're really fast. Oh shit! Heavy rain in 15 minutes, guys. That's, um... Let's see. It's 1 minute 11 a lap. So, 5 laps is about um, 6 minutes. So, that 10 laps is 12 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna get rain right at the end of this uh, of this race, guys. If my uh, maths are uh, correct during racing, it's really hard to focus and uh, calculate stuff at the same time. Someone is coming out of the pits. That should be Perez then. There he is. Grab a slipstream. Put it into fast again. Should be able to get some DRS if we have a good exit of this corner. Which we have. And again. Alright, let's try to get him now. As people are in the pits. Shit, let's put it into fast again. And my tires are done already. Wow. Someone is in the. Some, two people are in the pits again. That's P8. We can't seem to get any closer to Perez. And we have to go to the pits uh, soon, so our tires are starting to fall off again. Oh, uh, shit, back end. Grab a really good slipstream though. And we should get the rush again. Yes, alright. Although he's right behind us. He tries to move it down the inside of this corner, which turns to the outside for the next. Should get a good exit now. Ooh, back end. He's had the inside for the next corner. Shit. Right, let him go. And it's starting to rain, guys. Press had a really bad exit there. Alright, we pass him down the inside. 
that's P5 already, guys. Where did all the other guys go? I thought... And there's someone in the pits again. That's Maldonado, he's a lap down. Alright, I had a really, really bad exit, so there's Perez. Let's take a look at the temperature, because we might have to move on to Inter soon. Alright, I'm pitting this lap, guys. Hopefully they're... Wait, let me... Uh, let me put the intermediates. Alright, round the outside of Perez. Whoops. Where did he go? Oh, he's certainly not there anymore. Alright, I thought he... Uh, he touched me, but... Apparently he didn't. On to enters, guys. Hopefully... Um, Wait, actually, let's take a look at the race director. We are the first guys to go into Inters. Alright, let's see how that uh, pans out then. Oh dear, they are overheating already. Alright, but that uh, that shouldn't matter that much because it's uh, has, hard, it has started raining uh, already. And it was supposed... Oh, there's a front wing on the... Alright, so... Let's see how this pans out, guys. We're still in P9. Other guys still have to go to onto wet weather tires as well, so uh, we're in a, in a fairly good position now. There are people in the pits now, alright. I guess they're moving on to Inters. That's Perez, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's really slippery, though. We're in P8 now. There are a lot of people in the pits. Oh well. Uh, three. <laughs> That's not a lot, but we move back to P5, guys. And the temperatures still look uh, really, really good, so... Uh, these tires are uh, good for now. Temperatures still look really good. And six more laps to go, so maybe we have to move on to wet weather tires as well, or the full wets, I mean. When the red tires start to turn uh, blue, like bright blue, it's um, it's too wet for inters, and we have to move on to wet weather tires, full wets. But it's not that time now, so. Alright guys, coming on to the main straight now. We are in P4 and I have no idea why. Probably because Rosberg is behind us now and I don't know when I overtook him. Probably uh, he went to the pits last lap or something, but I don't think I saw someone in pits. Anyway, we are in P4 now and um, the tires are starting to get a little uh, underheated. Little cold and I had a huge look up there but we might be able to finish the race since it's only three laps there's someone in the pits again but it's not what us I, uh, I imagine although there are four cars in the pits including my teammate who emerges right in front of us and we are still in P4 all right Alright, it's definitely really, really wet now, so it's time for full wets, but there's only uh, one and a half left to go, so I'll stay on uh, those inters. I 
I have to drive really, really carefully though. There's Rosberg. Yeah, he's on full wets. Ooh, we run very, very wide. There's Rosberg again. It's Hulkenberg, alright. There goes Sainz. Whoa, shit. Then, where did Rosberg go? Oh, he's really, really far behind then. Alright, that's uh, fine. I can drive it out to the end then. It's really, really slippery though. I really have to tiptoe it around corners and then I even run wide still. So, but oh well. Ha Hamilton wins the race already. I'm really tiptoeing it. Alright, a couple more corners to go. Rosberg is still a long way behind us. My engine is overheating a lot. Oh well. Last corner guys. And we have another good result. Third, second and fourth right back to back. And that's... And I ran out of fuel. <laughs> Alright, yes! Fourth place. Come on! Alright guys, we come home in 4th place in the Austrian Grand Prix, which I really didn't see coming because um, we qualified in P7 or something, I uh, I can't even remember, but it wasn't that high, and I thought uh, we would be, we would get overtaken by uh, some Force Indias and maybe uh, Kvyat who was behind us, but uh, we finished in P4, and let's see, my teammate finishes in P15 because of his crash on the first lap, ooh, Raikkonen and Vettel didn't finish the race. And yeah, they fin they finished first and second last race, I think. And all right, Hamilton wins the race. Uh, Ricardo finishes finishes in second, which is really good for him. Bottas in third, and we finish in fourth, right ahead of Rosberg, Roshan, Alonso, and Button, who finish finish both in the points. They got ten points for the team today, and they only had one coming up to this race, so that's really good. Perez finishes in ninth, and Kvyat snatches up the last point. All right, let's take a look at the drivers' championship. We overtake Daniel Kvyat um, for seventh place, and we are still thir not 13, 23 points behind uh, Ricardo. So that will be really difficult to overtake. Uh, Hamilton is still in first, Raikkonen in second, and Sebastian Vettel in third. Let's take a look at the constructors' championship then. Mercedes overtake Ferrari by 24 points because Ferrari didn't finish at all and didn't bring home any points. So um, Red Bull is in third, Williams is in fourth, and we are still in sixth. Uh, McLaren Honda overtakes Sauber, who got 11 points now, and Sauber got three, and the managers still don't have any point. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!